Hi everyone! In this video, I am going to build an automation system for customer feedback support. Imagine this, a customer shares their feedback about your product or service. Some feedback is glowing, some point out areas to improve, and some are just neutral. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if this feedback could instantly spark action without any manual effort? That's exactly what our customer feedback automation system does. Here's how it works. A customer submits their feedback through a simple form. Our smart automation takes over, analyzing the sentiment, whether it's positive, negative, or neutral. Based on the sentiment, it sends a personalized email to the customer, ensuring they feel heard and valued. At the same time, it notifies the marketing team with a detailed summary to help them act on the feedback strategically. Now, let's learn how to build it from scratch. Go to the Home tab and click on the Add Workflow button. Add the first node, the Google Sheets node, and select its Get Rows in Sheet option. Before filling in its credentials, create a Google Form that customers will use to provide their feedback. To do this, go to Google Forms and create a form for the details you want to gather from customers. Link this form to a Google Sheet. In my example, the form includes fields for feedback category, your feedback, your suggestions, your name, and your email. I've already created this form and linked it to Google Sheets, as you can see here. It is linked to the Google Sheet. Now, go back to the N8N workflow. Open the Google Sheets node, fill in the credentials and details accordingly, and name it Get Form Data. I have filled out these credentials. Test this first node by submitting the form. Fill out the form and check the Google Sheet to ensure the data is being captured. Check the Google Sheet. Also, confirm that the Google Sheets node in N8N is retrieving the form data. Here, we are getting the form data. To limit the sheet data, add a limit node. Set its maximum items to one and keep only the last item. Next, add the sentiment analysis node. Drag and drop all the data fetched from the form into this node. Add sentiment categories, positive, negative, and neutral. Again, test this step. Here it is giving error, since we don't have edit any model. So just add another model. Add a chat model, such as Grok and test the node. You'll get the sentiment of the feedback. Now, we need to send a thank you email to the customer and a notification email to the marketing team. Add two OpenAI nodes and select message a model.
link the positive, negative, and neutral outputs of the sentiment analysis node to both OpenAI nodes. Open the first OpenAI node, fill in its credentials, and name it Get Thank You Mail Content. Write a prompt in the text section to generate email content based on the sentiment of the feedback. Repeat the same steps for notifying the marketing team. I have written the prompt here. Test the step. It will generate the email content. The nodes should be tested in both steps. After that, add a Gmail node and select Send a Message. Fill in the credentials. In the To section, add the customer's email address to send the thank you email. Fill in the subject and message sections as shown in the workflow. Click on the options drop down, select append an eight and attribution and disable it. Rename this node, thanks customer. Test this step. Now this mail has been sent. Duplicate this Gmail node. And update the to section with the marketing team's email address. Rename it Notify Marketing Team. Connect to this Gmail node. Save it and reload the page. To test this workflow, start by filling out the feedback Google form. Fill step like this. Sheet has been updated. Finally, test the entire workflow. So mail has been sent to the customer and also notified to the team. Let's check on email. And that's how our customer feedback automation system works, turning every piece of feedback into meaningful action. It's all about ensuring that your voice shapes the way we grow and improve. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.